Today on the bench, we're going to tie you up a real special fly for brook trout. You know, brook trout love to take a dry fly, and probably the, one of the best patterns you're going to use is a little mouse pattern. So today, we're going to tie you up squeaky. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we're going to use a size 4 dry fly. We use some 8 aught black thread to tie with, some black mini zonker rabbit strip for the tail, some deer hair for the body, some black mini zonker rabbit strip for the ears, some deer hair for the collar, and some deer hair for the head. The first step to the fly is to take some mini black rabbit strip. Now this is the, the mini zonker strip is quite thin. You don't want a real thick piece, you want it fairly thin. And what we're going to do is tie it off the back of the hook for the tail. And once we have it tied in, and take a few wraps behind the, the tail, we're going to cut it to length. And I like to have it about the length of the hook. So just pull that back and cut it about the length of the hook. So the next step to the fly is take some deer hair. We're going to measure it back about half the distance of the tail. And tie it in. Allow that hair just to slightly wrap around the hook. Pull up all that extra hair and take another couple of wraps through that. And then what we're going to have to do is trim it each time because what we want to do is start building up a body and we want the body really to be full of deer hair. So we're just going to cut this off fairly close to the hook and we'll keep building up and keep tying in clumps of deer hair that extend back on the hook. Now that I've worked my way up the body and tied in probably about four to five good clumps of deer hair, so you can see it's quite, quite full and the body's nice and flat, I'm actually going to take a little bit of rabbit, and we want just a small little bud of rabbit, just to create one ear on one side and one ear on the other. So just cut them off, probably to about a quarter inch in length, and we'll tie them in for the ears. Now we'll continue up to form the head, so again, take some more deer hair, and I like to actually put one wrap on first just to form a collar on the fly. This actually forms a, a small little collar right behind the, the, uh, the ears we just put in. And this keep, bring, keep wrapping your deer hair forward to form the, the head on the fly like you would a normal spun deer hair head. Now that I've built up the head I'm actually going to trim it like you normally do with deer hair just to form the head. So I'll whip finish and then we'll take it out of the vise and trim it up. So well, there it is, finished squeaky. You know, the nice thing about this pattern or any big most pattern is the fish can see it well. So whenever you're gonna fish for brookies, they go after a most pattern voraciously. Give it a try. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, Head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.